The Manage section is full of useful utilities for organizing and manipulating any of the hoses in your composition. The first option is Duplicate. With any part of a hose selected, click the Duplicate button and type in a name for the new hose. Any layers that were parented to the hose via the Parent to Hose function will also be duplicated. In the case of this character, I don't want to use the same artwork for the left foot as the right foot, so I'll delete those duplicated layers and use the Parent to Hose feature to connect the correct artwork. With any hose layer selected, clicking the Rename button will allow you to rename the hose layer as well as change the controller labels. Additionally, any rubber hose layer can be renamed manually without affecting any of the rubber hose system. The Add Bend button will allow you to add as many bends as you'd like to a hose, which can also be done simply by duplicating the rubber hose bend effect. However, using the Bend button will evenly distribute the bend's slide properties along the hose. You can do this as many times as you'd like. If you hold the Shift key while clicking Add Bend, the new bend will be evenly distributed between the last bend on the hose and the end controller. Parent to Hose allows you to connect a layer to any point along a hose. Select a layer you'd like to parent, click the Parent to Hose button, and choose the hose you'd like to parent it to. You can learn more about the options for Parent to Hose in the Parent to Hose video. Add Bones will create guide layers for each section of a hose that move and stretch between bend points. These layers act as parents for other layers like textures, patterns, or custom artwork, effectively allowing the rubber hose system to function as a skeleton for your character rig. Rubber Rig operates using both the Add Bones and Parent to Hose functions. This button allows you to add bones to any hose at any point and delete any bones that aren't necessary for your rig. You can learn more about bones and how to use them effectively in the Bones video. Autoflop is a system that allows the direction of a bend to change dynamically based on custom parameters. With a rubber hose layer selected, click the Autoflop button and an Autoflop layer will be generated and aligned with the start of the hose. This layer is for visual aid only and can be deleted without affecting the Autoflop system. An autoflop effect is also added to the end controller, which allows you to control at which point the direction of that hose should change, as well as the falloff for how quickly that change should take place. With the autoflop option set, any bends in the hose will automatically change directions when crossing through that field. Invert the autoflop direction by rotating it 180 degrees. To remove autoflop from a hose, simply delete the autoflop effect. With no layers selected, the Toggle Controllers button will reveal or hide all rubber hose controllers in the composition. Holding Alt or Option on a Mac when clicking will toggle the opacity of the controllers, leaving the layers themselves visible. With any number of controllers selected, the Toggle Controllers button will only show or hide controllers related to those specific hoses. Selecting a controller and holding Shift while clicking on the Toggle Controllers button will reveal controllers related to that hose and hide all of the other controllers. With no layers selected, the Toggle Style button will disable the styling on all of the hoses in your composition, which can improve performance when the visibility of final styles aren't necessary. Click the button again to return to the styled state. With specific hose layers selected, the Toggle Styles button will only affect those hoses. With any layer related to a hose selected, the Select a Group button will select all of the layers that make up that hose allowing you to easily select all the layers related to a hose, even if they're not next to each other in the layer stack. <laughs>